Coming up, it affects an estimated one in 10 women during their reproductive years, and you know it is endometriosis. While there is no cure, it can be treated. Dr. Nicole Williams is joining us with important information on the signs and symptoms to be aware of when we come back. Welcome back. It is 1245 in our health feature today, endometriosis. It affects one in 10 women and it is often misunderstood. And though there is no cure, women need to know it can be treated effectively with drugs and sometimes surgery. So we are joined by Dr. Nicole Williams from the Gynecology Institute of Chicago. Welcome back, Doctor. Nice to see Thank you. Thank you so much. So let's just start with, uh, and we've known about endometriosis for years mm -hmm. now, but where are we? What's the latest advancement in this? We have a few really great and wonderful brand new things out. Mm -hmm. There's a new medication that is a hormone blocker. Now the medication we used to have gave this terrible side effects, just like menopause, hot mm -hmm. flashes, mood swings, night sweats. But this newer medication effectively blocks the estrogen because endometriosis is a condition of too much estrogen in the system mm -hmm. activating the implants in the pelvis, which causes that terrible pain. So what this medication is able to do is it blocks the thing that blocks the estrogen. Okay. So your symptoms aren't as bad. Which is good news because I'm sure a lot of women didn't want to take the previous drugs Absolutely. because of the side effects that oh came Oh my God, it, right? everybody knew those, right. those side effects were mm -hmm. terrible. And only those people who were worst affected were the ones mm -hmm. who kind of tolerated the side effects. So now we have a brand new medication, less side effects. We're gonna have a lot more effective treatment for our patients. Okay, so when people first start noticing that they're having problems, mm -hmm. the symptoms, what are they usually? The biggest symptoms for endometriosis is just pain. And generally pain not only with your menstrual cycle, but pain outside of your menstrual cycle. And another thing I've noticed is I have young patients who have really, really severe, debilitating, knock right. you off your feet mm -hmm. cramps. Mm -hmm. I really believe that those patients are probably at a higher risk for developing endometriosis later on in life. So it's painful menstrual cramps, mm -hmm. really bad painful menstrual cramps, pain outside of menstruation, painful sex, and then sometimes ovarian cysts formation. You'll also see on there uh, infertility, uh -huh. diarrhea, constipation, bloating, nausea. These are all symptoms, of course, with menstruation. But if they're very severe, then you have to think about endometriosis. You have to think about that, and you uh -huh. have to think about surgery, too, maybe, yes. right? Maybe. Okay, so how do you know when it's time to go on a drug? So, because say, I, say yeah. you have a young daughter mm -hmm. who you just described yeah. has, you know, at what point do you realize, okay, I need to do more than just give her an Advil? Exactly. So, if the Advil's not working for her, if self care isn't working, she's doing heating pads, she's doing all these other things, if she isn't able to function to her best ability, then it's time to see your doctor, have her see a gynecologist who may actually specialize in pediatric gynecology or even endometriosis if you feel as if it's that bad. Mm -hmm. Then, if, if it's affecting her life, it's time for her to see a doctor. But the average age of diagnosis is what? So in your 30s mm -hmm. and even late thir mid to late 30s, early 40s. Mm -hmm. But patients have been suffering for years right. and years and years, and they've been told it's just cramps and they'll try something, but it's really endometriosis, and they don't get diagnosed until later on when they're maybe trying to have a baby, and we find out that up to 50% of women who are suffering from infertility actually have endometriosis. Wow. So they've been suffering for years and mm -hmm. just thinking, oh, this is what happens once a month for me. Exactly. I, I'm bedridden for a week or whatever, but that's not normal. So you're saying that's if you're normal. having those experiences, step in and go see a doctor and do something about exactly. it. Exactly. Step in and go see a doctor. Mm -hmm. And of course, this is Endometriosis Awareness Month. Mm -hmm. So if you go online, there's um, Worldwide Endo March. There's going to be a march on the 28th of, of, of this month, okay. starting at the Palmer House Hilton. So look it up. Okay. Women banding together to try Absolutely. to find a, a cure for this, right? Hopefully. Right. Okay. Thanks so much, Doctor. Thank Always you. great to have you in. Thank we appreciate you. Appreciate it.